Hi, this is Shadi and I know I'm in the process of covering the Abe siblings, however, I do want to take a break from it and discuss something far more important, far more sensitive and far more crucial. This isn't your history video or technique video or analysis video. This is a very important video that should be discussed before all of this. In the month of July, a young man by the name of Craig Fallon took his own life at the age of 36. And just yesterday, a man by the name of Jack Hatton did the same thing. He was only 24 years old. And what's so startling and alarming and frightening about this is that both of them were judokas. Craig Fallon was a former world champion and Jack was one of the elites, always had a place on the podium when competing. And why is it so alarming? Because judo has the perfect tools to help you combat these mental issues, whether it is anxiety, uh, depression, suicidal tendencies, etc. Because judo, it teaches you many, many things, not only just the moral code or the seven principles of judo or the bushido, etc. It teaches you that you cannot be passive or delusional when it comes to facing problems. I can be delusional in relationships and in my job, etc. But in judo, you cannot. If you are passive, you're going to get thrown. If you're on the ground, if you are passive, you're going to get pinned, going to get choked, you're going to be put in a very dangerous lock. You can die if you are passive. If my posture is broken, I immediately try to straighten it and try to attack. I cannot be passive and delusional in judo. This is what it teaches you. It teaches you that you are in the face of reality right now. You cannot postpone it. You cannot shy away from it. You face it head on. And my favorite thing about judo is that even when you're on your back on the ground, the worst place to be both figuratively and physically, it teaches you that there's always a line of attack, there's always a choice for offense, and there's always a chance for winning. You can choke someone when you're pinned by them, you can put them in a lock, you can always go for the tap, you can make them surrender and submit even though they have the dominant position. This is what Judo and Jiu Jitsu taught me. And what is a shame is that people, when they are children at the age of five or four or six, the moment they walk in the dojo, they start to talk to them about this competition, this technique, etc. They only make them memorize the seven principles of Judo, like it's just words. Trust me, no one remembers them, even a professor just Ask them on the spot, what are the seven principles of Judo? They will not name them all. And when you get caught up in this competition and this medal and this uh, technique, you are missing the whole point of these arts. It doesn't matter if you can do leg locks or uh, banning, uh, grabbing the legs or whatever. All this literally does not matter. What matters is to transmit these values of combat you experience during the combat and transmit them off the mat and in your daily life. Unless you live in some uh, poor village or some slums or some ghetto or a city that couldn't recover from the Soviet collapse, you don't use judo on the streets every day or every week. Chances are you won't. But we have other battles in life. We have jobs, we have r families, relationships, stresses that can literally put you on the brink of suicide. And Jack and Craig are prime examples. But when you start talking about gain weight, lose weight, uh, check your weight every week, uh, check this competition, participate in this one, uh, whatever, you are doing a disservice for both the art and your students. That literally doesn't matter. You don't have to be a good judoka and compete. You don't have to compete at all. All you need to do is 
memorize the morals and live by them and try to take whatever value sparring and combat and grappling gives you. When you are under stress, you should know that there's always a solution. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist and I'm not a psychologist, but I do speak from experience when I say that a suicidal person is a person that thinks that the concept of tomorrow literally could not exist anymore. There's no ambitions, there's no solution for whatever they are in or whatever they are feeling. And Craig and Jack took a step and did a permanent solution to a temporary problem because they weren't taught that judo is the tool that teaches you that there's always a solution, there's always a tomorrow, there's always something you can do even when you are flat out on your back and on the ground. Two men are dead because we don't have the right education. You have an art that teaches you to face things head on, control the situation and put it down and put it to sleep. Literally, this is what you learn to do. However, we cannot teach them to transmit this outside of the mats. We are so busy in competitions and titles and looking good on social media. That literally doesn't matter. The day you win the competition is the day that you will feel good. Tomorrow it won't matter anymore. However, just like when they say if you give a man a fish you will feed him for a day, but if you teach him how to fish you will feed them for life, it's the same thing when you give these morals and values of combat and morality and how to be a better person and change the world around you, then you will save that person's life. When you take a kid who is 14 or 15 years old and they are contemplating suicide and you teach them that if you are on your back you can attack and you can get the tap and you can get the win, then you will save that person's life. Chad Harding, uh, Chewie's jiu-jitsu student, he said that at 16 I, was, I tried to kill myself but Chewie and jiu-jitsu saved my life. This is how these art should be looked at. A former world champion, the elite of the elite took his own life because competition doesn't give you meaning. It's giving back and spreading the morals of judo and the principles of combat and the things that you learn through years of sparring is what makes your life good. Does it really matter if you weigh 73 kilograms or 66? No, because chances are you're gonna get older and you're gonna gain some weight, whether it is fat or muscles or whatever it is. We are teaching kids to look on their weights and look out for their weight and these medals. We are teaching them to be selfish. We are teaching them that to only focus on themselves because they have to win and literally everything else doesn't matter. Judo was supposed to enrich your life, make it far more superior in quality for you and your family. When you teach others respect and you treat them with respect, you make their lives easier and you make your life easier. I don't, I don't know what else to say except that some sort of awareness should be done through judo, not just competitions and yes, it's entertaining to talk about Maruyama and the world championships and Ono and the Olympics. Yes, it's entertaining, but if these things like suddenly disappear and all we have left is the practice, that's not going to affect me. If you are facing your, your life and you have all these stresses worrying about the Gracies and who invented this and who invented this guard literally does not matter. If I'm on the streets defending myself, it does not matter who came up with these ideas or who came up with these techniques, whether it's the Gracies or the Japanese, it literally doesn't matter. It's all gentle art. And this is what we should take into consideration. How will this enrich my life and increase the quality of it and increase the lifespan. 24 years old, he took his own life. 
24. This is just the beginning for him. He missed out on so many things. Simply because he wasn't taught the right values of judo. He was taught that he should compete. He was taught to gain weight, uh, get stronger in the gym, uh, improve this technique or whatever. He was taught the selfish things. There's not much more I can say except that in short, you don't have to be competitive judoka to be considered good. Spread the right energy and the right morals of it. Increase the value of the lives of others and yourself. Improve your community through judo. This was Shadi. Thank you for listening. And I am signing out.